It's like you're a big golfer, right? You you shoot you shoot <laughs> 12 over on the front nine, but then you shoot 12 under on the back nine, and everyone's like, oh, you just played a regular round, but you know that you know better. <laughs> it keeps coming. You keep coming back to uh, to the sport when you end on a high note, right? Um, I, I, look, I think that we're unfortunately in this trading range, and maybe at 3,800 on the S&P 500, maybe we got oversold and sentiment was pretty down, but. Nothing really has changed in terms of the inflation front. I know people want to talk about peak inflation. I, too, want to talk about peak inflation. But it's going to remain elevated for quite some time. And we don't know if the Fed can engineer a soft landing. They don't have a really good track record, right? So, um, and in the meantime, I mean, energy prices are, are much higher, right, this month and last month. And the EU just posted an 8.1% CPI print, the highest ever. And what bothers me the most is home prices are up 21.2%. That's going to feed into rents, which is a stickier part of inflation. So you have all of these things, yet the market is down a lot, discounting a lot of it. So, you know, what gets us out of it? Some sort of certainty on any of the inflation, on the Fed, on the war. But until we get some certainty, I think we're going to kind of just chop around, unfortunately. Get out your seat and chop around. So, so let's say shop around. What do we buy now, Stephanie, for, for the long run? Want to own stocks for five and 10 yeah. and 20 years? Yeah, and, and, and I actually have been adding, um, Brian, um, Accenture. So you guys are talking about Salesforce. Well, Salesforce and Accenture have a partnership together, and Accenture is actually cheaper, trading at 27 times uh, versus Salesforce at 33 times. You could pick whatever one you want, but these guys have size, and they have scale, and they have retention, and they're, they're at the heart of digitization, and they're, they have $4 billion and, uh, to do M&A, and they've been doing small M&A deals. I like Diamondback Energy, because all they do is print money, and now they're increasing dividends and giving you a special dividend, and the stock is trading at six times earnings. Um, wow. Deer fell on their earnings last week, and I thought that was ridiculous. I think precision technology, uh, farming technology is here to stay, and it's going to help their margins. So I am trying to think for the long term. I'm trying to get filter, um, you know, try to focus on fundamentals uh, and filter on the fundamentals uh, and versus the kind of macro uncertainty.